Hey, my name is Eric Worrell with RentPrep.com, and in this video, I want to show you how to set up uh, an alias email. So in the previous video that I've created, which I'll link to from this video, I showed you how to set up a custom domain. So uh, in this particular case, what we're looking at is the email handle Tori at TortoiseRentals.com. That is all set up through G Suite, uh, through Google. Uh, but what I want to show you is how you can now set up something like leasing at TortoiseRentals.com. Uh, with the G Suite account, which is like $5 a month, you can have up to 30 aliases that you can use from your email. So what you're going to do is you're going to click right here to get to your apps and you're going to look for one that says admin. So you can see that right here and you want to make sure that you're doing this from your account that does have admin control. In this particular case, this is Tori at tortoisereynolds.com. So once we're in here, you can click users and I have one user that I'm paying five bucks a month for. And then when you scroll down, what you can do is click on account. I believe it is. And then we can go down and you can see that there's aliases. So you can add an alias. And again, you get up to 30 different aliases. So in this particular case, I want to add leasing at tortoiserentals.com. So I'm going to click save. In about uh, 24 hours, uh, you will have this alias added into your email. So what you'll be able to do then is if you want to separate again your uh, email that you use for your business uh, from tenant applicants, you can have the leasing at tortoiserentals.com be the email that you use when you're putting you know rental listings out online. And then once you actually move forward and then have somebody who is a tenant uh, in your rental, then maybe you can use your property management email or your personal email. Um, in this particular case, Tori at Tortoise Rentals. But the cool thing is, is that you can have up to 30. So I could do um, let's say if you want to have people funnel their requests uh, for a request for um, a repair, I can do repairs at Tortoise Rentals. And then we're going to click save. Okay. And then you can see how this is pretty helpful. This is all just off of one account, Tori at Tortoise Rentals, that I set up. It's a $5 account. And now these are saved right here. So um, I'll uh, cut this video here, but then we'll see how this looks inside of your Gmail and how you can use uh, Gmail to uh, switch between your different accounts. All right, now in this uh, particular video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can uh, send emails from a different address. So we just uh, set up the leasing and also the repairs emails. So if we go in here and we go to settings in the upper right hand corner, and we'll go down to accounts and imports. Let's see, uh, we'll go to settings first and then accounts. So what we're gonna do is add another email address here and then the email address, the name is going to be leasing email. Treat it as an alias, and it's going to be leasing at tortoise rentals. I forgot the T there. Uh, tortoise rentals.com. All right, next step. So when replying to a message, I'm going to reply from the same address the message was sent to. So that means if somebody sends an email to Tori, it'll reply from Tori. If they send an email to leasing, it'll reply from leasing. So I'm going to add one other quick one. Uh, and this one's going to be um, repair request. And I'm going to put in repairs at tortoiserentals.com. Next step. Okay, cool. So these are all set now. All right, so now when I compose an email, you can see that now there's a drop down option here. So uh, this is my main email. This is the admin account of my G Suite uh, uh, account that I set up. But with the drop down now, you can see there's the leasing email and there's repair requests. So if I'm dealing with somebody with leasing, I can click on that. And now the um, emails will be sent from the leasing email as you can see right there. So this is just a little tactic that you can use to kind of separate communications. Um, you might want to use this because in the beginning when you're just dealing with tenant applicants, you might not want them to know your main email address. You don't want that being out there a bunch. So you can start with leasing at tortoiserentals.com. So now what we've done is we've created a system so that you can protect and hide your main email address that you have associated with your business and start with the leasing at Tortoise Rentals or leasing at whatever your custom domain is. And this will allow you, uh, you know, if you have an angry tenant applicant or somebody like that, so they're not 
um, you know, emailing your main account, and then you can have this alias set up uh, if you're a one-man shop. Now, if you have multiple people that you work with, you can also just create other user accounts, so then you'd have a leasing uh, account. But if you're starting out, the cheapest way to do this is just to create the aliases, and then you can toggle back and forth depending on what it is you want to send uh, from that email. So hopefully this video was helpful, and in next week's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up canned responses to automate your pre-screening process with your tenant applicants. I think you're really going to enjoy it, so uh, make sure you subscribe to these videos or just uh, comment below and let me know what you think of them. And uh, yeah, I'll be uh, in touch with you next week, and uh, hopefully you're getting a lot out of these. All right, take care.